Uh, you know what? That was my first. Coach Morris talked to these guys before the game about first, and uh, this being the first spring game in a while, and uh, um, so it was exciting for me. Right, this whole game having these guys come out and, and show to the fans what uh, SMU football is going to be about here in the future. So that was exciting. Right? It was a little weird that you got one before Coach Morris has gotten one. Well, there. you know what? <laughs> I'm going to be a part of him getting one. Right? Because the surprise, the excitement that I got, I want him to feel that one day. Uh, but you know, I think I think that. Uh, I took that one for him today. I took one for the Morris team today. Right. You've worked with these guys for a little over a month now. Uh, what part of your defense has shown the most improvement since you started working with them? Wow, that's, that's hard to say. Uh, but our defensive front, they, they've done a great job, you know, being a three-man front and, and some of these guys having to really adjust to that on the fly. Uh, so I'd have to say the defensive line has, has done the has made the most improvement. But you know, across the board, uh, like I said before, I'm ex extremely pleased with the way these guys have bought into the system, with the way that they're that they're doing the things that we ask them to do on a daily basis. Uh, so I say the D line, but across the board, we're, we're pleased with where we're where we've come. The second, sorry, the secondary is where you know you, you coach and everything like that. What do you think of their performance today? Well, they're going to always be graded harder than any other group. Uh, but at, at the end of the day, I think that you know we, we still have some growing there in that group. Yeah, we still have some growing to do in that group. But as with the defensive line, even though I sing their praises, I say we still have a long way to go. Uh, which is great because we don't we don't need all that we have just yet. We're still we're still a growing defense. We're still a growing team. Was this your first time calling plays? Yes, it was. How yes, was it? it? What did you think? You got the first game game like you know. Well, I tell you what, I'm I'm surrounded by a great staff of coaches, and uh, they make they make what I do really easy because they're giving suggestions all the time. Of course, when they don't work, then everybody says, "Damn, coach, why'd you call that?" <laughs> but when it works, everybody raises their hands. But Honestly, seriously, we I'm, I'm surrounded by a great group of coaches, and they make my job, really, they make it easy. You had Zach Wood playing inside today. Was that just because Zelt is out, or is that part of the plan to have him inside? And what do you see in him as opposed to some other guys that you could slide inside? Well, the fact is, is that he's, he's an experienced guy, and he understands what we're doing. So we can put him in, the, in those different positions. But, but a big part of it was Zelt. A uh, big part of it uh, for us to be able to experiment like this was because of the injury to Zelt. Uh, and we felt like Zach, like I said, in, if in a pinch, we could we'd be able to do that with him. Same thing with the wheel linebackers, um, uh, Jackson. Mitchell and uh, Kyrie Mitchell going over and having to do the same thing for Shaq. Well, when Shaq is back, those guys will go back to their natural position, but it only helps us to be able to sometimes, when there's no bullets flying, sometimes be able to experiment and see if guys can do different things. Some passing down situations you had big guy Spencer Holly lined up on the inside, but then Robert Seals and stand up off the edge. Talk about that, that kind of... Well, well, the thing is that, that we're talking about Seals. He does a great job coming off the edge. Being a out, former outside linebacker, uh, a lot of times athletically he has an advantage on tackles. So being able to use him in those situations, we feel like it's good for us. And if, if we can continue to develop Spencer, he'll be a force inside. Uh, I think he's two times as big as the stadium. So uh, <laughs> we feel like he's going to do some good things for us inside. When you move Zach inside, Justin Lawler got more reps at Zach's former spot, I guess. And Justin seems to have been in the backfield a lot during spring. Talk a little about his progress and what you see for his role in the fall. Well, he, he's been one of the most productive defensive linemen throughout the spring. When you count uh, sacks, when you count tackles for loss, batted balls, turnovers, he's been really productive. So as much as we can get Justin involved, it's a, it's a good thing for us. You have Anthony Roan making a lot of the calls for the front seven. Is it nerve-wracking at all to hand that responsibility to a guy so young? So we got to give it to somebody. <laughs> and uh, and we feel like that Rome studies film just as much as anybody, uh, and that's that's the system. The system he understands. Coach Jamac puts a lot of pressure on him to get the front lined up, and uh, he's a conscientious kid. So we're excited about him being able to do that. And he's done a great job throughout the spring, uh, and his youth, like like they say sometimes in the uh, in the nightlife scene, age is only a number. <laughs> Are we good yet? Yeah. Mm -hmm.